There's, there's an openness from film festivals to work which is sort of not falling within the traditional um, boundaries of say narrative or non-narrative or dance or not and I, I think certainly that's encouraging because I guess um, experimentation is always important to the practice and we're all influencing each other's and so it's, it's always useful um, to sort of see uh, different kinds of work um, and so I'm really thrilled, yeah I'm really thrilled that Adif wanted to screen it. But it's the first time I've been at a festival but all I know is that it has created such excitement in birds I can hardly contain myself and uh, it's all about guys who left the priesthood and why they left back in the 70s and how they were treated at that time and uh, I suppose it was a story that hadn't been told and I, I think that um, they needed it to be heard really. They needed their story heard because they were treated quite badly and uh, society wouldn't accept it was worse than like an unmarried mother or whatever at the time. So it was a story that they wanted heard and we're delighted it's here. For something like this, film that's crowdfunded, or for a lot of documentary makers, so we're trying to make documentaries on a relatively small budget. We don't have big publicity budgets. So we know we, we don't have that access to, to media and to broadcasters. So the film festival gives you a platform. It's a great platform to start, and you get people who you want in to see the film, and it's that platform then that can that can kind of uh, push you on, you know, to wider distribution. The documentaries keep people honest and, uh, you know, whether you agree with the sentiment or not or, whether, you know, it, it, it provides a basis for debate and I think it's essential really in terms of, you know, democracy that these, whatever these points of view are, it, particularly when they're as made as conscientiously and as well made uh, as Richie's stuff, that they should be really back to the hilt. He should be given, you know, I think he should be given carte blanche to go and do what he wants to do because I think he's, uh, his stuff is of tremendous value.